Hello everyone, welcome back to Ray's Solar TV. Thanks for checking in. As always, if you get some value or some entertainment out of this video, please hit subscribe and don't forget to put your comments below. We'll be happy to answer your questions. So this is a bit of an update on this install, which is the seven kilowatt uh, DC, five kilowatt AC grid tied net metering system. And a common question that we get is what happens in the winter? Well, in the winter time, it's pretty straightforward. When you get that snow, it's gonna cover up the solar panels. And as a result, it's gonna reduce production. So we can see here that panels are covered up and they were partially cleared. And then about another half inch, three quarters of an inch of snow fell on the modules. And what I wanted to show you is what the production looks like when it's actually partially covered. And then we're going to remove all of the snow and show you production difference using the EMA Live app, which just shows us in real time what the production is. And uh, we can compare it to before. So it's about 10 o'clock in the morning right now. It is, there's the sun. It's about as high as it's gonna get. A couple more hours, it'll get to high noon. But it's beginning of December and we know until December 21st, the sun continues to drop off on winter solstice and then the days will start to get longer. So let's go ahead, let's review this and see what things look like. All right, so we can see from the east side over to the west side, we can see the difference. So we're starting at two. And as we move over, we go to about eight watts. And then the bottom row, the wattage is a little bit higher. That's because the amount of snow that was there was much less. So we only had about a half inch of snow, whereas on the top, we have about two, three inches of snow. Okay, so I've got about half the panels uncovered. Let's go take a look at what it looks live, just to compare the, the difference between the panels that are still covered up and the panels that we've uncovered here. It's not perfect. If I wanted to get this perfect, I would brush them off. I could use a, a leaf blower and something to uh, brush them off. But just to take a look at the production that we have now. Okay, so we can see now with the modules to the west we can see how the production has increased so we have approximately 26 watts there on the top row and then on the bottom four we've increased that some more so that's a result of just clearing that snow like i said it wasn't perfect but we've cleared it now we've increased the production so we're going to move on now and move to clearing the east side of the array and see where our production goes. And as we progress through the video, you're gonna see how the production of the modules climbs to the uh, surface of the solar panel. And you want to avoid that. You don't wanna scratch it. They are very durable, but no sense of scratching it or causing any damage because that will affect module's performance if it were to be excessive. So I'm pulling these down and in this area we have mid clamps and end clamps, right? So right at the end here there's a mid clamp and so that's why there's a bit of a ridge there off to the, uh, the center in between the modules. And depending on the region that you live in, there's a period of time where you tend to get more snow. So if you stay on top of it, by the time you get, say, to the months of the end of February, maybe March, you're getting less snow, at least your panels are uncovered. And as the sun keeps continued to build intensity and gets higher, um, and as those photons are hitting those modules a lot more perpendicular, then 
it's a lot easier to manage and continue to add production to your net metering system. Now, on average in Canada, we get, for the winter months, say central Canada, where we are here, our average sunlight hours, good peak hours, is only about three and a half to four hours of peak sunlight. So, remember this, even though the sun is rising at, say, 7.30 in the morning at this time of year, uh, those photons are not perpendicular. They're coming from a much further distance in the east, so we're not getting the actual available sun that we want hitting those modules like we are right now. It's about 10.30, 10.45, so now that sun is starting to look behind us here. We can see it's starting to come over. That garage that we're facing now is directly due south. All right, so I'm on the north side of the roof and I've shortened up my scraper and what I'm going to do is just pull some of this snow back here. Now, you know, you want to make sure that the process of doing this is something that, one, you're in good health to do it. Two, you feel safe going on the roof. I don't recommend you do this if you're not comfortable going on the roof, especially that it might be slippery or have snow. But if you are going to do it, there's definitely some benefits of getting those extra kilowatt hours of production, depending on what your heat source is in your house, especially if it's electric. Well, then we can offset. And of course, if you're doing it on your own, if you're having to pay someone to do this, then there's not going to be much value because what you're going to pay by the hour to get this removed is going to be likely less than the production you're going to gain from it. All right, so now we can see the live app and it's taken about 35 minutes to get all the snow cleared off. And again, it was not perfect. This video was not intended to make it perfect and you can spend a little bit more time to get those details. But now let's move over to the left side of the screen which is the west side of the modules. And we can see that we have about 83 watts on the far left. And as we move across, uh, we hit a high of 91, and as well as you know 87 all the way to the east side. And on that bottom row, 54 on the left. And as we move through, we hit 88 towards the center and all the way to 8. 66 on the right hand side so the reason for that is again as you can see from the image the panels are still covered up in snow it's not a perfect removal but we'll see what happens throughout the day here as the intensity even at minus 26 starts to open up and we look at the production okay so we can see now in the other section of the app we can see actually the peak power so if we look at the top right now we are getting approximately a thousand watts of power coming in and we can see that gradual increase as we were clearing up the solar panels again we only have about a half hour that it's taken us to clear it so the time period of that is not because of the intensity of the sun but mostly because we've removed the snow okay so we can see now that this has been about a half hour after and we can see about 1.4 kilowatts or 1400 watts worth of power coming from the modules from clearing the snow. All right, so here's what we ended up with at the end of the day today. It's approximately quarter to five and it's the full moon. You can see the moon coming up there, December 7th. So the clearing of the panels, we can see how most of the snow that was on the panels, just the little thin amounts, basically dissipated just from the heat and cleared itself off, even at, uh, well, we got to about minus 22, 23 today. But still some ridges, like I said, it wasn't as clean. So let's just take a look at what the peak production was on the app. 
Okay, so we can see from the app that we ended up producing 1.4 kilowatts. So that was our peak power. And we can see the modules now. They've basically reverted to zero. And in this time lapse, I'm just switching and showing how the module production switched between the day. So we can see at the peak there, towards that center module, we were about 112, 114. And as the day moved on, it stayed steady. Again, like I said, for about three, three and a half hours, we were able to make some production, some actual energy. So we're coming back to our bar graph. We can see that production really dropped off by the end, by the time it was two o'clock, so 156. And we can see our total production in energy was 3.94 kilowatt hours. So we'll call that four kilowatt hours of energy production. All right, so that's an overview of clearing the snow on a grid tied net metering system. Just a quick overview how we can take a look at the changes in production when we clear the snow versus when we don't. And this is something you'll have to decide on whether it adds value to your production. Again, you want to assess the cost if you have to pay someone to do it. Likely at this time of year, it's not going to be worth it, but it is something that you can take on to yourself. If you are going up on the roof, you want to do it safely and of course take the precautions that you need to. So again, as always, we're here to empower installers and the DIYers out there. Please visit us at racesolar.ca. Give it a thumbs up, give it a thumbs down. Please leave a comment and we will see you on the next video.